Hey, what's up, everybody? Hitman BK here, and we got some great, great news today. Um, I'm in. You're getting my clean cut look with a nice shirt because I just got home from work. Because of course, good news always launches when you're at work. Uh, but so I had to make a video the moment I got home, and we have got the uh, launch trailer for the DLC announcement for Remnant Two, which I think is incredible. There's a lot of good news to cover here. Um, if you haven't seen it already, so sit back and relax and we're going to get right into it if you guys like everything you're seeing we've had tons of new people coming through the channel make sure you like subscribe and comment and uh yeah sound off let me know what you think about all of this and how excited you are i have a couple of thoughts for you um and at the uh yeah and i'll post a link below into the trailer i'll probably maybe play some of it while we're talking about it but let's not wait any further we're even going to skip these intros y'all i think i'm just gonna start making content and going right into it i don't think we need an intro anymore so like, subscribe, join the Discord if you want to come hang out with the Filthy Casuals. Let's get right into it. So Remnant 2 DLC 1 is called The Awakened King, um, which is actually pretty cool. This is the guy from uh, Losum that you pulled the knife out of his back. It turns out he actually was not dead. Uh, but on there, this is from the uh, Remnant 2 launch uh, actual page. They say the one true king uh, figure steeped in lore has been roused from his slumber and is on a bloodthirsty quest for vengeance. Corrupted by the sinister root during his near death repose, the Mad King now views betrayal around every corner launching a relentless campaign of retribution the awakened king dlc tells a tale of his vengeance um so this is great that sounds fun plus it's a really cool design um behind him uh, this is the first dlc release for remnant 2 is going to launch on playstation pc and xbox on november 14th for 10 bucks uh that's pretty that's pretty crazy that right there um really got me i did not expect the dlc to drop in essentially 14 days or 13 days now i'm super excited about that and 10 bucks is a really good price for everything that's in this you can also purchase a dlc bundle for 24.99 um which i'm guessing includes uh yep the other two additional packs that will be available sometime next year uh if y'all want to just guess at that we could probably say sometime february march i mean um uh, march april and then end of summer i would bet um, on top of that, they, it says the ominous arrival. The tale begins when the one true king cursed castle materializes on the shores of a Dran coastal town. As the once peaceful locale grapples with this otherworldly intrusion, the tides grow turbulent and the weather spirals into chaos. From the depths of the abyss emerge creatures of untold horror, leaving in their wake an abundance of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Sounds very remnant. A brand new storyline in the upcoming DLC. Players are thrust into a riveting new storyline, one that peels back the layers of intriguing uh, intrigue surrounding the one true king. As survivors venture into a mysterious area within the expansive world of Losum, they'll be tasked with unearthing the secrets concealed in their shadows. Um, and we can start just commenting on this now. So for the ominous arrival and all of that, this is tied to Losum. I know some people in my Discord have already kind of said, like, oh man, like really they're reusing the biome and tiles. Uh, actually, Tragic was in the Remnant Discord saying there are actually a ton of new tile sets in this, which I have no doubt on. I, I think as much as it might seem like, why didn't we go back to some Remnant 1 biomes or maybe even find out what Ford is doing? I kind of like this idea of fleshing out the current world. Uh, and it sounds like that might be something they're doing in all the DLCs. Don't quote me. Um, that's not said anywhere, but I would just I could see that being a theme um, because they have or I mean y'all they've done a great job creating the biomes that are in the game and I am all for expanding on those and finding more about the inhabitants that live there um, that we briefly saw as we progressed through the campaign and Losum in particular for me I thought was like super moody and really cool and the adjust the new stuff they've shown off already in the trailer with the castle in the background um, all look super ominous and sound um, really interesting and and uh, from a story uh, from a storytelling perspective um, so although we have already been in Losum and they're just adding upon it I'm actually looking forward to seeing like how this pans out and if this is something we can expect moving forward maybe for some of the other biomes uh, for the brand new storyline and in a video I think made by um, uh, Legacy Gaming it looks like the story I think sits somewhere uh, between three to five hours on a first playthrough you will load in all we will all lock in on the on the same uh, biome same kind of like 
experience on the first go and then that enters adventure realm and changes up kind of the entirety of losom whenever you load in there when it comes to the uh you know regeneration that remnant does uh, and i think there's even probably some new stuff hidden in there from what's been teased so i think there's going to be quite a bit of new content to kind of like home through here um outside of that they also have this thing as it's a well, let's continue. We'll continue reading this. The pluralist journey. So within the Ignatic location, survivors, survivors will navigate uncharted dungeons, acquiring potent equipment and forming unexpected alliances. Yet their path is fraught with danger as they confront fresh threats in the relentless quest to reach the one true king and put an end to his reign of terror. Um, so obviously that means like new enemies, which is great. And here is the detailed breakdown on everything that's coming into the DLC. So we have a new storylines, dungeons and area in the world of Losom. Delve deeper into the mysterious realm of Losom and uncover the hair narrative of the one true king whose mind has been tainted by the roots corruption right we just read that introducing a new archetype which i have mentioned this before i think in all dlcs anywhere where there's going to be a new area anything new is probably going to have an archetype tied to it right that was in the in the base game and i feel like that's going to be the same moving forward uh the new archetype is going to specialize in using status effects to torment their foes further details about this ignatic figure will be unveiled as the dlc's launch date draws near so it's called the ritualist this looks really cool um especially if you're a status effect person i think there's a lot to get excited about here uh and i think it's going to be you know i mean all of their archetypes are a lot of fun so it'll just be something new to experiment with and to experiment with with every other archetype and see how they combine to create like really fun ways to play. I assume this will either be hidden or probably be um, achieved by completing the campaign is probably what I would expect out of the new archetype. A wealth of items and powerful weapons. Equip your survivor with a wide variety of new weapons, mods, amulets, and rings essential for survival in the perilous redesigned Losom. There is a tweet actually that Gunfire Games retweeted from Sadistic Muffin that says the DLC features for Remnant 2 that we do know of more total items than a standard story. So that's awesome. Um, there are items scattered in other areas. So there's going to be reason to explore outside just the new zone and uh, obviously the new class and this will release on November 14th um, at 12 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, so let's get back to this. And then new bosses, characters, and fearsome creatures. The ocean's depth yield mysterious threats and survivors of unknown origin, adding new layers of challenge for players as they traverse the chaos-ridden streets. So there are obviously going to be new bosses and characters we don't know the number on this no one has said anything but y'all i mean it's remnant i'd expect a pretty pretty nice chunk and given that they've said there's uh, more weapons than in um a standard story you know you could probably tie those weapons to bosses and some secrets so there'll be lots of secrets plenty of new bosses plenty of reasons to jump back in especially if you tie this to the fact that we'll only be like three weeks into the uh new aberrations that just dropped and those new weapons um there's quite a bit of chunk of content to come back to if you haven't yet um and yeah to further just I think address like what people if anything what people might say i mean we don't know what this is yet it's not out i think there's clearly going to be a ton of new content here nine bucks for all of that is an incredible price which is not surprising remnant 2 is easily becoming one of the best value uh rpgs i think i've played in a long time with a ton of replayability and build building and just fun to be had there wasn't any mention um on cross play so who knows when that's coming i think i'm actually just going to buy this game on xbox so i can play with my xbox community members uh, um, and on top of that, like, again, I think there's going to be all sorts of new stuff to see here. I can understand the, like, like, uh, on the fly frustration some might have that it's just loathsome and it's not anything like net new or brand new biome. Um, however, from a development standpoint and a creative standpoint, depending on how this goes, I think it's just, I think it's a really cool idea to really flesh out this wor these worlds they've created inside a remnant and who knows where they'll go in DLC two and three. Um, and also considering how fast this came out, um, the amount of updates and, uh, uh, communication we have gotten from the dev. I mean, all signs just point to to positivity here for me i couldn't be more excited to get my hands on this i am not you know guys we're not huge here we're not a big uh we're not a big channel so i didn't get like fun early access like uh some other people did so i'll be playing it with all of you on november 14th um and and can't can't wait to honestly get into this um i'll post a link to the 
to the trailer below if you haven't seen it yet. It's fun. Um, and yeah, sound off. Tell me what you think. Are you excited for the new DLC? Are you excited to check out new weapons? Does this make you want to get back into Remnant? I assume it does, because at the end of the day, it's new and more Remnant, which is what we all wanted. And it's coming at a great time right before Christmas. And we all take holidays. So can't wait to sink my teeth into this content hats off to gunfire games for putting something out and honestly i'm looking forward again to to seeing more of losum fleshed out and kind of seeing how this fits to into remnants um you know replayability um especially since the way they have this set where we're all going to have the set area when we first play and then it's going to get mixed into losum when you re-roll it in adventure mode is from my take on that so i'm really looking forward to seeing how that works and if they've added new dungeons elsewhere inside loadsome when you do that and kind of like what that looks like and i think given their penchant for really good secrets i think we can expect some uh, really really cool things to come out of that um so yeah november 14th pull this back up November 14th, 12 p.m. Eastern is when this is going to launch. Nine bucks, if you haven't got it already, I think it's well worth the money. This is quite a lot of content for nine dollars. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it. So sound off in the comments on what you think. Are you excited for the DLC? I'm Hitman BK, and until next time, I will see you guys online. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, y'all. We're supposed to have like a sign off. Like one of my community members said I should have a sign off. So I think I've created one and you'll have to sound off in the comments if you made it this far on what you think about it. All right. So this is it right here. I'm Hitman BK. And until next time, keep being a good human.